It's fair to say that regional disparities in the UK are large and they have been persistently large since a long time. The UK is one of the most spatially unequal countries among large developed countries. Average wages in London per week are around 725 pounds, which compares to roughly 300 pounds less if we look at Blackpool in the Northwest, if we look at uh, Blanau Gwen in Wales or North Devon in the Southwest. It's highly productive firms and highly skilled workers that tend to cluster in space, which tends to be mainly cities such as London. Of course, this then is one of the main drivers for uh, differences in wages. If we take London, then around three in five people have a university degree, which compares to around two in five um, for the UK average. We need to put this into perspective when comparing, for example, to the North East or the East Midlands, where around 25% of people have no or very low levels of skills. Spending on transport infrastructure is very important. In London, the average annual spending per person is around 740 pounds, um, which is roughly twice the national average, but much higher uh, than in places such as Yorkshire and the Humber or Wales, where it's around 300 pounds per person per year. Around 75% of premises in London have access to ultra-fast broadband internet, which compares to only 30% in Wales or roughly half um, or under half for the rest of the UK. There has been this image that there's very little we can do about regional disparities. However, that's not true. There's a lot of scope and kind of policy space in terms of addressing these disparities over time. So two examples would be the National Infrastructure Commission and the Industrial Strategy Council, both of which at the moment come up with a lot of good policy proposals but do not have the teeth to actually follow through on them. With Brexit, the UK will lose access to the European Regional Development Funds, which so far have been the main spatial or place-based policy to actually address a lot of these issues. So while the average um, effect on the UK economy as a whole will be largely negative, um, some places will be hit much harder than others.